So I have a question from Deepika who wants to know when would one start with anti-aging intervention? Is there an optional age at which one should begin? So of course this is intrinsic, intrinsic yes. and intrinsic. So both. Well, so, so I'm, I'm extrapolating from the, the the hundreds of animal studies that have been done, uh, everything from fruit flies to little worms, mice, uh, even dogs, and some some monkey studies. So we have a big database to pull information, but um, we don't know about humans. I would say that in my scientific opinion, uh, around the age of 30, aging starts to kick in and, and actually make your system not work very well. You start to slow down with healing in sports. Uh, so I myself started taking resveratrol when I was 34 and I'm still doing okay. I'm still alive. It doesn't seem to be hurting and it's not very expensive. So the trade-off is such that uh, in my 30s it was worth trying. Um, and certainly now that I'm in my 50s, it's definitely worth trying something. Um, think about this. We know what's going to happen to all of us if we don't do anything. So as long as it's safe and it's not going to break your budget, I think, especially the older you get, the more uh, worth it it is to try some things. But it's all individual. I would say if you're in your 20s or teens, there's very little reason to do things other than eat healthy and exercise. Um, but would yeah, a, that's the best advice. Would a couple of glasses of wine work as well? As well as a well, that, that's de <laughs> well, that's debated. I think it, any any doctor would say in moderation, a glass a day of red wine will probably do do you some good. Um, you don't want to overdo it, of course. Alcohol will will wreck your liver um, long term, but. Um, there are many healthy molecules in red wine, whereas veritrol is one, but there are many others from, from the grapes that are preserved in the wine. And I think that's one of the main reasons that red wine is actually so healthy. But how long do you have to take or drink red wine to have an effect? Probably a, a decade or so would be, an, would be um, a minimum. The reason is that red wine doesn't have much resveratrol in it, maybe a milligram. And in our studies, we give the mice, the equivalent of 100 to 200 glasses a day. You would be very drunk. <laughs> so, yeah, fortunately, it's in a pill or in, in their food. But, uh, yeah, I don't recommend drinking that yeah. much red wine. <laughs>